Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 125 or 26 or 20, I don't know, an episode of the Speared Sundays podcast. I'm your host, Lewis Spears. Uh, I'm recording this one on a my old camera and microphone because we're currently upgrading the podcast setup in the warehouse and I can't use it at the moment. Thanks to the Patreon supporters for making that possible. Really appreciate it. It's going to be fucking sick when I can get back in there. Hopefully next week, actually. Uh, but for now, I'm just at the radio station on the, uh, the old uh, gear. So, um... Welcome to another episode. Uh, it's going to be a fucking banger because uh, I've got some horrendous miscellaneous bit at the end questions to answer. Uh, and uh, I've been to the Apple Store. And as we all know, when I've been to the Apple Store, oh, I get. It makes me fucking. I hate the cunts so much. So, first of all, I had to buy a new phone. Because Apple doesn't make shit that lasts. I, I got pretty far, though, man. I got real far. Like, uh, I, I, I bought... I had the iPhone 6S Plus or whatever. And I don't give a fuck about the big screen. I don't care about that. What I care about is I've got massive hands. My hands are so fucking big that whenever I used a small iPhone, I felt like it was more comfortable for me to use an, a normal-sized iPhone like your mum does. You know how she holds it with one hand and then she uses her other hand to tap like the buttons with one finger? That's how I used to use the phone and everyone used to make fun of me. They're like, oh, can't you text without looking? It's like, no, my thumbs are fucking too long. It's actually easier for me to... To, to type, like, your dad. Right? So, I got the big fucking 6S. Whenever that came out. when It was when I was still working in a call center. I think. So that was years ago, man. I remember saving up for it. And, and, I, and that was, I was like, I'm going to get this phone and it's going to help me get out of this place. And it did. Because I, I Snapchatted my way right out of the call center. Now Snapchat's fucking dead. But Instagram Stories is here, so we can post on there, and pretty soon there'll be another fucking app that I gotta post to. Thank God IGTV didn't take off, man. I'm so stoked that I don't have to... I'm, I'm still posting there, but I'm so stoked that I don't have to. I'm just posting shit there because it's a good meme. Um... Yeah, so I got this phone, I don't know, it would have lasted me like three, maybe four, probably four years, actually, I think, this phone. And, uh, when I bought the phone, I think it was like $1,200, and I was on fucking minimum wage at a call center, making like six, seven hundred dollars a week. So that, that, that ruined my life, spending that money. But now, I had to buy a new phone. And as we all know, I recently demoted myself, unfortunately, because I had to get the comedy special out and then I had to fund the next tour. So I demoted myself from jacket money back down to jeans money. Now I'm, now I'm earning less. I'm earning less money than I was when I was in a fucking call center. I'm paying myself less. But hey, I got to give my shit a budget and I got to do a fucking tour. So hopefully at the end of this tour, if shows sell out... I can get myself back up to jacket money. That's the goal. Oh, speaking of selling out, before I tell this, before I rant for fucking 40 minutes about iPhone and Apple, uh, Perth, the show's almost sold out. Uh, I know it's only been like three days, but it's there's like, there's 30 tickets left to Perth. Let me just look that up now. There's 30 seats left to Perth. Um, there's like, yeah, looking at it now. 30 seats left to Perth. There's also fuck all seats left to Sydney, and Melbourne is probably the next closest to selling out. But my tour is on sale now, loosespears.com slash gigs. Perth people, get your tickets or you're going to fucking miss out. The show is almost sold out. Oh shit, Melbourne's picking up. Yeah, Melbourne, Sydney, and Perth, especially Perth, uh, get your tickets now. Everywhere else is also selling quite well, except for uh, Bendigo. Uh, it's <laughs> Help! <laughs> Why did I book a show in Bendigo? Um, but everywhere else is going really good. Uh, loosebeers.com slash gigs to get your tickets. It's a brand new tour. Uh, all new jokes. Nothing from the special. Nothing from previous shows. It's all new and it's all fucking great. Come and see why, uh, why lads want to bash me for telling jokes. All right? But Perth, fucking get on it or you're going to miss out. There's 30 seats left. I would buy now. Just fucking open another 
browsing tab, you fucking cunts. And this is great because I think this might be the first time I've ever sh sold out a show in Perth before I've, I'm there. I think every other time I go to Perth, it sells out like two hours before the show. And, and, I have, and, and you cunts give me a fucking panic attack. So finally, after four years, literally, of touring, you guys are getting a little bit organized and, and giving me a bit of emotional stability when I fly there. Remember the first time I went to Perth? It was either Perth or it might have been Adelaide. Perth and Adelaide, notorious late bookers for me. This year, that seems to have changed. But fucking normally, man, I would get on the flight and there'd be like seven tickets sold and I'd be having a panic attack thinking it's like it's gonna be an awful show and then I and then I get to the venue and there's been like fucking a hundred door sales and it's like why are you that disorganized? Freaking me out, man. Uh, but it's good to see you guys are turning turning that ship around. Uh, so yeah, Perth, there's like thirty seats left. I'd book fucking now. They might be sold out already. Check. <laughs> what am I yelling about? Oh yeah, the phone, right? So now, I only make 300 bucks a week, which is Jean's money. I can't afford a new phone. So anyway, my phone, it just starts to die. It just starts to turn off. The battery won't charge properly. It just starts shitting itself. The camera spazzes out, and that's all... You know, that's like my tool. My phone is my fucking tools if I was a builder. So I really needed one. So I'm like, all right, I'll get the new fucking iPhone X, or, or whatever, the iPhone XNXX, or whatever it's called. Oh no, that's that's the website I'll use the iPhone X to go on. <laughs> um, so I go and get the I I go on online to get the iPhone X and XX, and it's fucking two thousand dollars. What the fuck, man? Two thousand dollars for a phone? That's absolutely insane, man. I mean, I still got it, but only because I I like. It, like, I use it literally every day, all day. So I'm like, alright, well, if this thing lasts me another four years, I guess it's worth it. And I don't do that fucking phone plan outright where you where you pay, like, $100 a month and you sign up for, like, a 24-month contract. All these... F I, I already know all these cunts are going to be like, oh, you paid too much money for a phone. And I already know that 70% of you fucking idiots are paying like $80 a month locked into a 24-month contract. Suck on my penis. All right? You ended up paying more than me, dog. Just because I'm fucking saving my money. Then And you're, and you're fucking buying so many fucking pingers that you can't save up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any money, guys. Not anymore after buying that fucking phone. Um, so anyway, I buy I buy the phone, right? And uh, it arrives. And I set it all up. I take the SIM card out of my old phone and I put it in the new phone. And then I start using it. And then And then all of a sudden, right? Ten minutes into me using it, it just turns off. And I'm looking at my new my new two thousand dollar iPhone X N X X, and I just I just start to to I don't even get angry. I just feel a piece of my own sanity just leave, walk out the door. See you later, Louie. Bye. Just my sanity just left. I was like, oh, I'm taking a bit of reality with me. Is that an elephant or are you imagining it? Bye. I was just that, I wasn't angry, I was just that, that little bit closer to a, a breakdown. I looked at it, and I was just like, and my sanity went, see ya! See you in two weeks, man! And I'm looking at the phone, I'm like, did you just, did you just do what my old phone does that I, re that I replaced because of this issue? Did you just do that 10 minutes into me? And I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna get angry, not gonna get mad. It might just need an update. It turns back on. Sure enough, I need an update. All right. I mean, I just, I just turned you on. But if you need a fucking update, I'll give you one. I update it. I use it all day. It's fine. Use it all day. It works. It's great. Then I get home. I open up fucking Instagram. I want to do an Instagram story. Start the camera. It turns off. It just turns off and then turns back on. And then another piece of my sanity was like, Hey, I'm going on leave, man. Annual leave. Two weeks off, bro. I'll see you later. Are you the reincarnation of God? Or did you just imagine that? See you later. 
and I'm looking at my iPhone X and XX, I'm like, did you just turn off again, cunt? Oh, it's alright, maybe it needs an update. Sure enough, needs an update. I update it. Then, turns off, doesn't turn back on. For six hours. At this point, I should be in a fucking straight jacket because I'm about to put my face through the wall. <laughs> And use anything I find in there to harm myself. Because of this fucking phone that I just bought. Haven't even had it for 24 hours. I already want to use it to, to harm myself. And, uh, so anyway. That keeps happening for three days. And this whole time, I have my old phone that works perfectly. I'm like, why the fuck did I get a phone? Why did I get a new phone if I have to use my old one because the new one doesn't work anyway? So I'm using my old phone and then the, the new one turns off and I'm like, oh fuck it, I'll just get my old phone, I'll get a refund. And then my old phone turns off and I'm like, oh fuck it, I'm gonna get a Nokia. At least that'll take out the concrete before it breaks, if I drop it. And then, uh, so anyway, the new phone keeps turning off and on. So it's not reliable and I can't fucking text anyone on the old phone because the sim card's in the new phone and of course uh, I immediately lost that little bit that you got to stick in there and then the sim card slot pops out so that's fucking gone I don't know where that is that's a that's another fucking mystery that left with my sanity um so anyway I'm carrying around two phones everywhere so I can use social media on the old phone when the new one dies, and then I can text when the new one decides to fucking turn on. And I'm carrying around two phones everywhere. I feel like fucking two chains. Except I got two phones. Two chains. Two phones. <laughs> I feel I feel like fucking two chains walking around like the Robocop version of two chains. Two phones. I got two phones. And I've got, I literally have two phones, one in each hand, everywhere I go. I pull them both out. And I'm like, which one's working today? Everyone goes, oh, is that two chains? They're like, nah, that's his retarded cousin, two phones. Two phones! <laughs> you know what, man? I reckon my two phones combined probably cost more than one of two chains' chains. So who's the real baller here? Two phones! That's right. I'm going to release a mixtape. And that's, that's going to be my ad lib. Because 2 Chains, he's really tall as well. There's a lot of similarities between me and 2 Chains, man. I mean, I don't have any chains. i got a pendant on a leather rope. That's not a chain. But I do have two phones. That's my new rap name. Fuck Christopher Ruse. I'm going to be two phones. Anyway, I need to stop. I'm obsessed. I've been saying, I've literally been walking around the house going, two phones all all week. Because that's, because that, I told you my sanity was leaving. Two bits of my sanity walked out the door, took a, took a vacation, and all of a sudden I'm just walking around going, two phones. Like I'm some fucking rapper with an ad lib. So anyway, I've got two phones. This fucking camera. This is why I don't use the fucking... This is why I upgraded the setup. It keeps stopping. Anyway, where was it? Two phones! <laughs> That's what I'm walking around with two phones, right? And uh, I keep telling myself, no, 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 the new phone's going to work. It just needs to update. Because it keeps telling me, I need to update. So I keep updating it. I plug it into my fucking laptop. I reset it. I, I do the fucking iCloud update the, from iTunes, everything. I reset it like five times. It keeps turning off and on. Eventually, I'm yelling. I'm, I'm like torn between throwing it through the window or flushing it down the toilet. But then I would lose my phone and I wouldn't be able to go two phones and I just have one phone. And that's not as fun. I go one phone. Everyone has one phone, right? I want to be two phones. So I'm going nuts. And then, and my, my girlfriend, ever the reasonable one, she goes, you should, you need to go to the Apple store. You need to take it to the Apple store. And I said, I haven't gone to the Apple store for eight months. I'm not going. I hate it there. It's full of pretentious fuckheads. There's more staff in there than customers. But for some reason, you always have to wait for help. Oh, come right in. And you're like the only cunt in there. There's 17 fucking blue shirt store cunts in there with their iPads talking to each other about the latest fucking trending app. 
And you're like, oh, I'll just, I'll just get Mary for you as soon as she's free. And then Mary's standing in the corner fucking with her thumb in her asshole, talking about some headphones that are wireless or something with her mate. Just, just sucking each other off about how much they hate Android. Oh, green text. Green text bubbles. Am I right? Who would have those? Oh, Apple. Do your job. Stand around there like a fucking idiot. So anyway, I, I argue with her for about three days about, I don't want to go to the fucking Apple store. I just got to update it. She's like, it's not working. It's not working. I'm like, it will work. I just got to update it. Update it seven times. Still turns off. Still walking around raging and then going, two phones and feeling better about myself. And then going, I don't need to go to the Apple store because as soon as I fix this phone, I'm only going to have one phone and then I can't be two phones anymore. Anyway. She was right. Went to the Apple store. <laughs> Went to the Apple store at fucking 9 p.m., right? Which is not a good time to go to the Apple store because it's 9 p.m. Actually, you know what? No time. I don't think I would ever be like, oh, 11.30? Perfect time for a fucking iPhone iPhone store visit. I would never... There is no good time for an Apple store visit, all right? I don't want to hang around with those fucking nerds. You know what gets me about those nerds is they're, they're, they're nerds that... Beca Apple nerds are, are people who became nerds in their 20s. Because that's the only way you can become an Apple nerd. Because if you were born a nerd, like me, you got bullied for it like you fucking deserved. And you know enough about technology to understand that Apple is a little bit shit. But Apple nerds become nerds when they're 20 because they have enough money to buy a fucking iPhone and an Apple Watch. And then they look down at anyone with an Android and a Fitbit. Oh, <laughs> green text bubbles. I spend $2,000 on a phone. At least I'm using the fucking phone for what it's meant, like, as a tool for my business. That's what gets me about these fucking Apple nerds, is that they became nerds when they had enough money to afford shit they don't need. And they became nerds at like 2022, 20, and it's for some reason it's socially unacceptable to bully people past 12. Which I disagree with. Let them have it. Those fucking nerds. You know those cunts were the fucking idiots who got excited about Google Glass. Where did that go? Where did Google Glass go? Dickheads walking around with fucking rectangular glasses. I don't care what they do. If they could give orgasms to fucking anyone I winked at, I wouldn't wear rectangular glasses. What is this, The Matrix? <clears throat> anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, two phones! So I walk into Apple with, with two phones, right? And and there's, there's no, there's literally, I reckon there was 11 staff people in there, and it was 9pm on, when did I go? Like fucking... Saturday night, so there's no one there. That's my Saturday night, by the way. All you cunts are out there fucking partying. I was at I was at the Apple store at 9 p.m. Writing shit in my notes to yell about on the podcast. And let me tell you, there was a lot of shit in the notes. But then I had to reset my phone. So I just fucking can't even talk about it! Now I have to rely on my memory, which we all know. Notoriously patchy. Uh, what am I saying? See? Can't remember fucking anything. Oh yeah, Apple Store. 9pm, 11 staff members. I reckon, 4 customers. And there's no customers in the Apple Store, alright? No one actually buys something from the fucking Apple Store. Everyone just goes in to change the background on the Apple laptops, take a photo of it and go, Hee hee, I'm so mischievous, and then leave. Not knowing that those fucking backgrounds reset just about every 2 minutes. Oh yeah, you reset the background to some fucking Shrek picture. Aren't you a co comic genius? Oh, what's that? You reset the background to your favourite rapper's fucking album? So you can get a retweet on Twitter? Good on you, man. Dickhead. Um. I can't, I'm so mad about my fucking phone. I can't even get to why I'm mad about my phone. I keep getting distracted by all this other shit that I'm angry about. I need, to, I need to talk to someone. I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, fucking, I get in the store, right? Four people that are just browsing. Me, my girlfriend, and 11 staff members. 
And also my two foes. Right, again, there's the fucking two door greeters. Why are there two door greeters? There's one door, have one door greeter. You know why there's two door greeters? So the cunts can talk to each other instead of greeting. And that's exactly what happened! I walk in and I notice they've all changed their shirts to red. I'm like, okay, cool, so now you're the red shirt cunt store. I don't care. Either way, it's still the cunt store. Doesn't matter what shirt you wear. You can be the fucking purple dress cunt store. Still the cunt store. You can be the bondage harness cunt store. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine if you walked into Apple and everyone was wearing bondage harnesses? You know what? If they put a fucking thing that vibrated when you got a text in a bondage harness, cunts would wear it. They'd be like, oh, this is perfect for my fucking bondage session with my wife or she gets fucked by someone else in case I get an important text. <laughs> um... So yeah, we walk in, two door greeters talking to each other, not greeting me. Not that I need to be greeted. I don't want to be greeted when I go into a store. And go into a store. I don't want to talk to anyone. I want to go in, pick up the thing, take it to the counter, fuck you. That's it. Hi, welcome to Kmart. Hey, we're in Kmart. Shut up. Stop smiling. This is sad. Anyway, the two door greeters, they walk in and I actually need help. So I walk up to them. So they fucked up their job. I greeted them at the door. I should be employed. Where's my blue shirt? Oh, sorry, red shirt. Oh, sorry, bondage harness with notifications. <laughs> uh, I walk in and uh, they're like, hi, what, uh, what do you need? And I said, oh, yeah, my phone's broken. I think I need to talk to someone. It's the new, I got it two days ago. It's new. And then the guy literally points to the back of the room where there's seven cunts all talking to each other in red shirts. And he goes, yeah, you want to talk to, uh, you want to talk to Michelle She's the one with the red iPad. I look, I can't see any iPads. And he goes, oh, you can't really see because of the way she's holding it. And he, no shit. He goes, she's the one who's like standing like this. <laughs> and he just imitate. he didn't say like blonde hair. He goes, oh, she's the one who's standing like this. Just say she's the one with glasses, you fucking idiot. And the way she was standing, it was like the most womanly fucking weird standing where she was like standing on one leg balancing her other leg on the other thing and because she was holding an iPad faced away from me he even did both hands and it was fucking weird man it was fuck it's like he just did one move from an interpretive dance oh she's the one standing like this oh really is she great I'm just gonna walk over there like this <laughs> just say blonde hair glasses man I would have got it Oh, she's the one wearing with blonde hair wearing Google Glass. Oh, yeah, that dickhead. The one standing like this because she's got a bondage harness wrapped around her tits and it just went off. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, I go, I go up to the girl standing like this. And I go, hey. And she's like, hi. And then I see her red iPad. I'm like, okay, cool, this is the bitch. And, sh and she's like, hey, how can I help you? I'm like, yeah, my phone's broken. I got it two days ago. It arrived broken. And she's like, okay, I'll uh, I'll get someone for you. I'm like, okay, so if I had to go and talk to you, why do you have to go and get someone for me to talk to? So she tells me to fucking sit down. Of course, I didn't say any of this. I'm just raging about it in my head, writing it down in my phone to, so I don't forget. And then it got deleted, so I forgot. <laughs> so I sit down with my girlfriend and she's like, stop. <laughs> Stop, you're getting it fixed. I'm like, yeah, but I have to go. She's like, it doesn't matter. It, you'll be out of here in 10 minutes. I'm like, ex ex what did you say? She goes, you will be done in 10 minutes. I said, you fucking watch. And I set the timer on my phone. I don't know how long we were in there because the phone got reset. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I was right. Uh, so she takes us in there. And she sits us down, and uh, she's, I'll go get someone. And then I'm, this, then this fucking, this other cunt comes out, and he goes, Hey, I'm fucking who's he Watts from the red shirt cunt store. I'm like, cool, man, take the bondage harness off. It's weirding me out. So he takes it off, and he puts his red shirt back on. And then he, he brings in his phone that's like wrapped in an FPOS machine. Hey, Apple, just use an FPOS machine. So you don't have to fucking show me your phone in a giant phone case. Unnecessary, dude. So anyway, I give him my phone. I'm like, hey, it keeps turning off and on. He's like, all right. Uh, well, what we can do is we can get it repaired for you. And I said, hey, what did you say? He goes, well, we can get it repaired for you. This is a common issue. And I'm like, no, no, no. I bought 
a new phone for two thousand dollars two days ago. I don't want. I did not buy a repaired phone. I do not want a fixed phone. I want a new phone that works. And he's like, okay, uh, fair enough. I'll get you a new phone if I can prove that it's broken. And I was like, okay, man, use it. Go into the settings, use it. So he he grabs it and he opens up the settings and some all the data log from the from the phone comes up from like what the phone was doing. And then, and at this moment, while he's going through the settings, fucking. Max starts texting me, and I'm like, oh no, don't say anything horrible. The the, Im- the text previews come through, and Max is saved in my phone as like, Max mo fuck. So it's already fucking stupid. So this text comes through from Max, and I'm like, oh, please don't be fucked. But it, anyway, it wasn't. It was something mundane and boring. But the, the name came up as Max mo fuck, and I saw him look at it and then just swipe up and make it go away. <laughs> fuck. Uh, and he's going through the settings, and... Um, he looks at like the crash log and there was like 17 different things from the moment the phone had been turned on that just said panic. And he goes, huh? Yeah. The phone shouldn't be panicking that much. I'm like, what? The phone can panic. What was it doing? Like I turned it on and looked at me. It was like, (laughs) 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 why was that? What do you mean panicking? All right. Just going to put my, uh, my passcode in. I like to use Facebook. Facebook. (laughs) What, what, what do you mean panicking? The iPhone can't panic. Um, and he goes, all right, there's a lot of panic things. Ah! There's a lot of, there's a lot of panic. Th- I'm sorry if this is ruining, if this is making you guys go deaf, but that's all I could think of. When he said the phone was panicking, it took everything I had not to just go, ah! and when I was in the Apple store. <laughs> Dude, that's the funniest shit I've ever thought. <laughs> like a phone going, ah! I'm so I'm gonna stop screaming now. You can turn your volume back to normal, or am I? I don't know. It depends if I. But depends how how bored I get. I might just bring it back during miss bit. Anyway, so he's like, there shouldn't be this many panics. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you a new phone. And I was like, okay, cool. So you sent me a broken phone. He's like, yeah, we did. Sorry about that. I'm like, cool, man. So we get, so he's like, oh, I need you, you need you get, get your receipt up. So I, I'm like, okay, cool. Let me just get my receipt up on my phone. Oh, that's right. It doesn't work because every time I open my emails, it goes, emails. Ah! <laughs> it just panics, right? I'm like, I can't get it up. And then Jazz logs in to my email and she gets it up and we show it to her. And he's like, he goes, all right, cool. We show it to him. And he goes, okay, cool. Just to uh, just to to get you a new phone, I need to talk to someone else. I'm like, okay, cool. This is why there's so many fucking red shirt cunts in the store because everyone can only do one third of the job. Hey, Apple, teach everyone how to do the job, all the jobs, and have two cunts there. Then you can save a bit of money. Not that you need to save money. You're already saving that when you make fucking nine year old Vietnamese kids build iPhones. I mean, I don't know why I'm angry about that. I mean, I fund their fucking operation. I'm just saying, maybe employ an 11-year-old. At least then you won't make a phone that goes, "Ah!" every time you try and open Snapchat. (laughs) I'm sorry, I lied about, I I lied about not doing, I'm going to do that for the next 40 minutes. For the next 40 minutes, whenever I feel like it, I'm going to think about the iPhone panicking and it'll, it'll amuse me so much that I have to go, "Ah!" (laughs) I'm sorry, this episode's fucked. Um... So he goes and gets some other bitch. And then he comes back and he's like, Hey man, uh, so what we can do is uh, we're going to refund you the phone. But what we can do is we can either take money out of your account uh, and then refund you the money that you've already paid. And I'm like, okay, so for about 48 hours, Apple will have $4,000 of my money instead of two. And he's like, yep, that's correct. Can we do that? I'm like, who do you think I am? Do you think I'm just walking around with fucking four grand in my bank account, just sending it to, to cunts and trusting them that they'll send it back? Oh yeah, I know how that goes. I pay for it again and I never get my money back. And when I try and call them, the fucking cunt on the other side of the phone goes, Hey, uh, so you would like a refund, sir? Well, I'd love to help you that with Patel. Ah! And he has a panic attack. So I know. I was like, nah, uh, what else can we do? He's like, well, uh, I can issue you a gift card. Uh, but you have to sign up for the gift card and give us your details. And I was like, why don't, why don't I, I have the receipt? 
here. Why don't you take my broken phone that goes, ah, every time I open it up, and then you give me a phone that works and doesn't have a panic attack every time I try and do an email. How about that? And then and then that's fine. And he's like, mm, I'm sorry, I need you to sign up for a gift card. I'm like, all right, give me the fucking gift card, cunt. So I get the gift card, I do the, all the shit. And he puts like $2,000 on the gift card and then he makes me use it. And then, and then it's gone. And now I have two receipts in my emails from like Apple. It looks like I've spent $4,000 on Apple products. I mean, I'll, I'll, do, you, do you want me to commit tax fraud? Because I'll fucking do it, man. <laughs> I don't want to pay tax on that. Um, so anyway, I got the phone and it doesn't fucking panic. And I left and it works. But they had the old phone, right? And they had all my shit. Like all my numbers, all my social media, my emails, everything. My whole life. Bank account, everything. And it's like, I, I, I'm like, oh, can I erase erase it? He's like, yeah, we'll erase it. I'm like, no, no, can I erase it? I want to see it be erased. He's like, oh, okay. I'm like, don't give me that shit, all right? I just saw, I just saw this fucking Facebook is spending $600 million on ads Trying to tell us all that we can trust them when we know we can't, all right? If and and you're bigger than Facebook, so I don't trust you cunts either. I want to erase my phone. And he's like, all right. So I open up the settings and I go to erase, and then the phone goes ah! and turns off. I'm like, holy fuck, this fucking panic shit. And and I've just realised that the, that the me screaming has has like gotten a lot less funny than when I first started to do it. But you know what? It'll eventually, in like seven more minutes, it'll come back around and start being fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, so I wait for it to turn back on and then I and then I erase it all and then it gets halfway through erasing and then it goes, ah! And then turns off and then I do it again and then it gets finished, erase, and then it's done. I'm like, okay, cool, done. Uh, and then I walk out with my with my two phones, and uh, the new one works great. And I've had it for three days, and it works great. And it was it was worth the money just for the fucking camera alone and everything else. Oh my god! Sorry, Sh- stop fucking playing shit. Um, it works great, um, but which I'm a sh- which I'm a little bit sad about because now I don't need my other big phone, and uh, I'm I'm back down to one phone. It's made me a little bit sad, but. Whatever. And I, I now have a phone that fucking works, thanks Apple. Although, it's too small for my hands, which is annoying. Um, so, yeah, that was that was my journey to the fucking red sh- the blue shirt cunt store, which is now the red shirt cunt store, which will become the fucking bondage harness cunt store. With notifications. Um, Alright, uh, with that uh, being said, was there anything... I've sh- I don't know how long... I mean, I think I've been talking about the fucking Apple store for half an hour. Um... I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to miscellaneous bit at the end. But before I do that, I want to let you guys know the uh, that I've just started up a podcast clips channel. Um, so on YouTube, if you search uh, Lewis Spears podcast clips... Ah, uh, let me fucking look it up. I should have... Hey, man, this is the kind of stuff that I should have uh, on, on my screen before I start. But you know what? Um... I, I didn't do that. That's not this kind of podcast. Not it's not a good podcast. Lewis Spears podcast clips uh, on YouTube. It's uh, I've started uploading about two to three different five five or two minute clips from each episode. Just the best bits uh, that me and I um, and my editor pick out. Um, and it's just a really cool way I thought to like help you guys share the podcast or if you uh, don't have time to listen to every single episode every week, you can catch the clips. So uh, subscribe to that on YouTube. It's Lewis Spears Podcast Clips and uh, share them with your friends. Um, it'll be really cool to have like a massive backlog going and hopefully we can turn this channel into into something that uh, helps uh, grow the full podcast. So that's the thing. Lewis Spears Podcast Clips. It's got like 30 subscribers. It'd be cool if we could have 100 Um uh, but whatever. Um, so that's the thing. And thanks to the Patreon supporters, there's no way I'd be able to afford fucking an editor to do this shit without you guys. Uh, Alright, with that said, shall we get into miscellaneous bit at the end? I've got three fucking bangers for you because I haven't answered questions for two weeks. So uh, we got an update. Um, we got an update uh, from Amber uh, on the threesome situation. Her fucking crazy life. Uh, with her threesomes and all that kind of shit. But before we do that, I would like to get into this cunt. 
Uh, <clears throat> oh, if you would like uh, me to answer your questions or give you some life advice or if you have a fucked up story to tell me or an update on something I've already covered before, uh, send an email to podcast at loosebeers.com. Summarize it in the subject line and I'll get to it if I think I can make it funny. Um, all right. Uh, the first email. I'm going to do three because I didn't do any last week. Um, I accidentally made my girlfriend think I was into cucking. Help. Gone sexual, not clickbait. <laughs> Uh, G'day, Lewis. Call me something extravagant like fucking Belfazar. Awesome generic shit like Sam. I couldn't li- give less fucks if I tried. All right, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna call you Belfazar because that's a mad name, dude. That sounds like it should be in World of Warcraft, dude. The new expansion is amazing. I'm not gonna talk about it because I'll bore you to death. Um, I love your shit, but I'm not gonna get the comedy special because uh, I'm a lazy cunt. Couldn't be fucked, but it looks good from the trailers. Cool, man. Good on ya. I mean, literally just your loss. Uh, I don't know. I'm triggered. Uh, (laughs) Keep up the hard work. Anyway, some backstory on my uh, situation. I was at a club one night with friends getting a little... See, if you don't buy my comedy special, you're you're a fucking cuck and your girlfriend's going to fuck other dudes. I'm sorry. That's what what it is. Loosebeers.com slash watch five bucks or your partner's fucking someone else. All right? Sorry. That's the only way to prevent... Your life falling into cuck ruination. (laughs) I was at a club one night with friends getting a bit rowdy with the (coughs) alcoholic beverages and a few Billy Bong Thorntons uh, before we left. So about 14 shots deep and feeling rather toasty like a right lad. But this guy types like a a fucking... Like some idiot who wouldn't buy my comedy special. Uh, Feeling rather toasty like a right lad buzzing off my... Okay, so this guy was just fucked. Um, I met up with a friend from high school. We will call her Magenta, just, just to keep shit topical. Um, so Magenta and I... You mean Violet? I'm going to call her Violet because I'm an idiot. So Violet and I continued well into the night, getting looser and looser until we ended at my place and where only one of us was getting loosened. Loosened? I don't know what that means. Except this is what happens when I read the subject line. And I'm like, oh yeah, this will be a good email. And then I read the email, and it's not a good email. Um, Except she stayed and didn't leave. She got odd... Okay, so you fucked? She got oddly attached in the weeks after and wouldn't leave me alone. Because I'm completely socially awkward cunt without the influence of a little fresh moan lawn clippings. And can you just say the word? Can you just say weed and, and alcohol? I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try... I'm gonna read this, and I'm gonna try and translate it for you, because this is fucked. So this guy got fucked up and then had sex with a girl and he was drunk, but he's a weirdo unless he can have drugs or alcohol in him. So he needs to like play sport or get a hobby or something. Uh, a few days into the one-sided shit, shit show, I was still racking my brains over how to dump her without hurting her when she hits me up with, so before we go any further, I want you to know that I'm really kinky. And me being a classic horny 18-year-old saw the opportunity to get my dick wet and was like, hold up a minute, maybe I can ride this wave a little. Yeah, classic 18-year-old idiot move when you're with a girl you don't like, but she's like, hey, I have a vagina. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to stick with this chick, even even though she puts glass in my cornflakes. Um... Maybe I can ride this wave for a while. So I asked her what it is, and she tells me it's a surprise, but she needs my consent for it like a classy broad. You cannot give consent for a surprise. That's rape. (laughs) That is rape. Uh, That's rape! You can't be like, hey, I'm I'm into some kinky stuff. I need your consent. For something that you don't know I'm going to do. And then if you go, yeah, thinking that it's going to be like, I don't know, uh, uh, a blowjob where she pinches your nipples and then she brings over some other dude to fuck you in the ass. And then she goes, oh, no, but you consented to the surprise. That's rape. That's rape. (laughs) I need your consent before I tell you what it is. That's rape. Two phones. That's right. <laughs> um, 
So I ask her what what it is, and she tells me it's a surprise, but she needs my consent. Dude, what if it's a fucking Apple bondage harness with app with notifications? She needs my consent for it like a classy broad. Uh, I was thinking shit like threesomes or a little butt stuff, so I was like, sign me the absolute fuck up. I'm gonna get me a good old route. So I said, sure. The next day, the chick hits me up with a video of her doing the nastiest things to some random guy with the text following surprise with the text, with the caption, surprise, winky face. Dude. So she was like, oh, I'm kinky. I need your consent. And then you're like, yeah, sure. Maybe we can try a butt plug. And then she fucks someone else and sends you a video. <clears throat> In what world did you consent to that? What the fuck? I mean, on, on the good, on, on the on the positive side of things... That's not right. Because, I mean, she fuck. I, I assume the other dude consented. If I mean, if he didn't consent, well, then that's right. But if, it, but if he did consent, that's not right. But it, that's definitely cheating on you. Two phones. <laughs> the next day... This girl hits me up with a video of her doing the nastiest things to some random guy with the caption, surprise, winky face. That's so crazy. She's like, oh, I've, I've got a surprise for you. And then fucks another... That's insane. Internally, I was freaking the fuck out and I didn't reply. Yeah, I mean, that's, I guess, better than how most people would handle it. I didn't know what to do. It's been two days since I've spoken to her, but she keeps hitting me up and has even come to my house... But I've just hidden inside, and now I've turned into a lanky giraffe in the Rebels' bikey... What? I don't know what this says. Uh, I don't know... I truly don't know how to handle this situation. <clears throat> Again, keep up the good shit, and stay on that grind to deliver me my goddamn free content. Cheers. Whatever the fuck you decided to call me. Balthazar. Um... Look, man, this is what happens when you, uh... Hang on, so just a quick recap. You fucked a girl, and then she was like, I'm kinky, do you want me... I'm gonna do something crazy, but I need you to consent before you know what it is. You were like, okay, sure. And then she fucks someone else. Look, man, this is what happens when you don't get my comedy special. I'm sorry, bro. That's what happens. I told you guys before I even read the fucking email. If you don't get my comedy special, your partner's gonna fuck someone else and send you a text video of it with the caption, Winky Face. I'm sorry. But at least that's not right. I didn't do it. I don't know what to tell you, man. This girl sounds fucking insane. Uh, I would, uh... I would just, I would just text her back and say, hey, this is, uh, when you said kinky, I didn't think you meant, uh, fucking someone else. You could have given me a heads up. I'm not into this. Sorry. I'm going to see other people. I mean, she's not your girlfriend. You just fucked her once. So, I mean, well, I guess she didn't cheat on you. Or, or, I don't know. Dude, I don't. Dude, that's what happens. You gotta get. You know what? You got That's my advice. Head to loosebeers.com slash watch. Spend five bucks. Get my comedy special because uh, y your life is fucked. Well, your life is fine actually. You just need a, as long as you run away from this girl. If you stay with her, you're gonna be in a fucking Apple bondage harness with notifications in like no time. And then and then you'll be like, that's right. I don't know, man. That's fucked. Uh. In, in what world did you, did you, where did she get that hint? How was that her idea? That means she knew that you weren't going to be okay with it. Dude, that's not kinky. That's, that's just being a, being a whore. Like, that, that that's not kinky. Dude, fucking someone else as a surprise without asking if it's okay is just being a hoe. That's not kinky at all. Kinky would be if you invited the dude to come over and then you did it at the same time. She just fucked someone else. What a psycho, man. Stay away from her, dude. That's my advice. 
Stay the fuck away from her. <laughs> All right, we got another question. Uh, hi, I'm a loser. Question for the podcast. Spelled the correct way, so she's not a fan. She's just a fucking dropkick. <laughs> Hi, Lewis. My name is Alex, and I'm currently in a relationship with my stepsister, Jay. Just kidding. Uh, My name is Sophie. I'm 18 and currently doing my last year of high school. In a recent podcast about about Amber and her threesome problem, which the update for that's coming in the next email, uh, you mentioned that at her age, 18, you were a loser. Uh, I currently consider myself as a loser. Uh, Look... I'll I'll talk about it later. I currently consider myself as a loser. I only have two friends who I don't really connect with, and I haven't done much this past year. I'm happy with who I am as a person, but I've never really found people with the same interests as me. So I've never done the typical 18-year-old stuff like being invited to parties or losing my virginity. According to Dolly Magazine, 60% of Australian women have had sex by the age of 16. I'm wanting to wait for a relationship before I do it, but I've never really met anyone. I'm turning 19 in eight days, so I've been feeling upset about it. I'm planning on doing uni next year, but I'm still scared I won't make friends, let alone a boyfriend. I don't know where is a good place to make connections when you have no one to go with. Dad said I should try ballroom dancing next year, but I think I would only find old creeps. <clears throat> so all in all, my question is, what places do you think are good places to meet new people? Not via the internet. I already tried that. Keep off Tinder. Yeah, probably a smart move for a girl. Also, I live in Victoria, if that helps. I'm from... uh, I'm not going to say this other. If you successfully answer my question, and I do make friends and a boyfriend, I promise to take them out to see you on stage. Uh, I want to go to your upcoming tour, but I have no one to go with. Uh, Thanks so much. Catch you later, Sophie. P.S. Do you even like pears? At least it isn't the worst fruit to have in a URL. Yeah, pears are sick. Uh, look, Sophie, uh, I, th- I think uh, when I was your age, here's, here's, my, here's my thing. That reminds me of me when I was in high school, minus the vagina. Um, I still had tits, though. They were phenomenal. I don't know where they went. They're gone. <laughs> Two tits. <laughs> um, I think when I was 18, I thought I was a loser. But looking back on it now, I actually wasn't. I just didn't have heaps of friends. You know what I mean? Like I had, I had friends. I just didn't have lot. I just wasn't popular. And then I I was looking at like the gold standard of popularity, comparing myself to that, being like, "Oh, I'm a loser because I only have two friends." No, man, you're just a regular cunt. And uh, dude, Dolly Magazine: sixty percent of women have had sex by the age of sixteen. Uh, you're not weird. If you stood in a room with a hundred people, there would be 40 cunts just like you. That's literally 40 cunts that, that just like yours that hadn't been touched by a penis. That's normal as fuck, man. I didn't lose my virginity until, uh, I was 18. Uh, and, uh, I don't think that was weird at all. Uh, I mean, it was, I get, it, well, no, it wasn't late. It was like 60% of people had lost it. So that's not really that late. And you, you're fucking right. It's better to wait for a relationship, man. Uh, <clears throat> look, I think that you're stuck in high school and right now your world is very small. Uh, but once you go to uni, your world's going to get fucking massive. Um, I would say that your dad is on the right track. Maybe ballroom dancing isn't for you. I mean, if you like ballroom dancing, definitely go do it. But your dad's on the right track. You should go to fucking events and groups. Uh, like, there's there's an interest group for fucking everything. Go on Facebook. Search anything you're into. Crocheting. There'll be a group for it. Book club. There's a club. If you're religious, go to a Bible thing. If you're an atheist, I bet you can find an atheist fucking thing. Uh, I'm, I'm about to start going to fucking tabletop Warhammer groups after my tour because I want to do that kind of stuff and, and find people with other interests. Um, I think that I truly started to make really good friends when I started, uh, going to groups, uh, that were related to my interest. And for me, that was, uh, you know, YouTube and, uh, comedy, stand-up comedy. So I started hanging out with comedians, going to rooms to do comedy. I started hanging out with creators, you know, meeting up to, to make videos. Like, I don't think, I think that's what really fucked me up for a long time when I was 18. I was like, oh, I don't know how to make friends. You don't actually make 
a friend. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't walk up to someone and just, I'm friends with you. You need to do something, a mutual interest with another person, and through doing that, you become friends. There's no, I don't think there's really such an action as making friends. Like, no one becomes friends doing nothing else. It's hard to explain. Like, if you walked up to a stranger, and you were both standing there, doing no activities, eating nothing, partaking in, in nothing, drinking nothing, you were just two people on the street, talking to each other, that's not how people make friends. People make friends by doing something together. Playing a sport together, building a puzzle together, playing a video game together, doing something. So I would say if you want to make friends, Sophie, put yourself into situations where you're doing shit with other people. Go to groups. You know, everyone's into like three things. Like our button pusher, Radio Mike, went to a Super Smash Brothers tournament on GameCube in 2018. There's a group for everything. He just found out about it on Facebook, and he met a whole bunch of people that were in that fucking game. He didn't go back, but if he did go back, he might have made some friends with him. Yeah, I don't think people make friends without uh, external shit to do. No one does that. Uh, so, yeah, Sophie, that's what I would recommend. And And the boyfriend thing, don't worry about it at all. I really think when you start searching hard for relationships, that's when you start missing red flags, settling for shit that you wouldn't settle for, and uh, ignoring massive flaws uh, because you have finally found a relationship and because for some reason you think being alone is worse than anything. You need to make sure that you're okay by yourself. You need to make some fucking friends. Uh, and uh, these two friends that you don't really connect with, why don't you invite them to do something that you're interested in? I think that's another thing that I struggled with when I was 18. I thought... Oh no, I actually, I had a few friends that I actually didn't really connect with, and the reason for that was I didn't let them in. It was me. It was They weren't keeping me at arm's length. I wasn't letting them in to know who I am. It was like the last six months of high school for me was when I finally got it. I was like, oh, this is how you fucking bond with someone. This is how you talk to someone. You don't just fucking listen. I used to just listen. I used to only listen and, and, and talk about them and them and their interests. And I found out a lot about them and I connected to them, but they found out nothing about me. So they had nothing to connect with with me about, so I felt like they were keeping me at arm's length, but really it was me with my hand out, because I wasn't letting them in, I was like, oh, they're going to judge me for liking comic books, or playing World of Warcraft, or, oh, they, they won't like me because I don't drink, they, because, you know, I, I, I didn't let them into my world, and then, of course, they didn't connect with me, because they were like, why well, this guy seems nice, but I don't know who the fuck he is, you know? <clears throat> um, so yeah, I would say you gotta, it's, it's two ways, Sophie, you gotta let people into your world, um, and if they don't like your world, you gotta find people who will enjoy it, and if your world's fucking video games, or crocheting, or ballroom dancing, or, or, or fucking wearing a bondage harness from the Apple store with notifications, whatever it is, there's a fucking group out for it. You look at those Apple nerds. Those cunts wouldn't have any friends, but they can congregate at the Apple store and laugh about green text messages. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Facebook, there's plenty of groups. You're probably right about staying off Tinder. I would, don't worry about a relationship, because you know what? If you get a boyfriend, but you have no friends, he's going to hate you, because you're going to you're gonna depend on him for 100% of your social needs, and then he's going to get sick of you, because he'll be like, oh, I want to hang out with my friends, and she'll be, and you'll be like, but I have nothing else to do. We should hang out together, and then he'll end up resenting you. So, Sophie, go and find some people with mutual interests. Uh, that's my advice. I'd love an update. Uh, best of luck to you. You sound pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, just come to my show by, by yourself. Uh, a few people do that. It's not heaps of people, but a few people do that. Uh, and actually, 
Girls have made friends with each other at my shows. More and more girls are coming to my shows now, which is good. But before, it used to literally be like about maybe 7 in 100. Now it's like about 30-40% of the audience is women. Thank fuck. Which is good. Um, Because I never wanted to be that one gender demographic. I think that's fucking... (coughs) That's how you end up accidentally starting a race war. (laughs) Um... But yeah, there's uh, there's uh, two girls in Brisbane that I that I can think of that literally came to. I think I was talking to them after the premiere of my Brisbane show. They met each other at episode fifty of my podcast, where there was fifty people. They were like one of four girls. They were both there by themselves, so they sat together. Uh, it's been like three years since them, and and they're really good friends. It's fucking. It's cool. It's really cool to see, and now they come to the shows together. So. I don't know. I mean, there's there's an option for you. Come by yourself to a show, sit with a girl or a guy who's by themselves, and hey, you might make a friend. Um, but other, otherwise, you can fucking do other interests. There's heaps of Facebook groups. Um, all right. Uh, this podcast is going to be long, but that's right. Last one was short. Uh, final uh, question from the uh, miscellaneous bit at the end. Update from Amber. This is the threesome girl. From my memory, this was two episodes ago, I believe. It's it's probably got threesome in the title because it's clickbait. You'll be able to find it. From memory, this girl is in a has a boyfriend, uh, but she also wants a girlfriend. But she was torn between two girls. One girl didn't want to be in a poly relationship, I believe. And another girl she had recently broken up with, she wanted to get back with them. Uh, with her, and I basically told her, hey, relax, also, very jealous of your lifestyle, where the fuck were all these threesomes when I was 18, they're still not around, I don't know what the fuck's going on, what what else do I have to do? <laughs> um, update from Amber, uh, hey cunt, I thought I would update you on the threesome situation, first though, I wanted to say that the reason I didn't mention my boyfriend much in the last email was because I wanted to keep it short oh well thank you, I also said you didn't talk about your boyfriend at all, maybe you don't like her and you're actually, you're more interested in being single and fucking a lot of people, think about that <clears throat> I said that uh, but I guess maybe she does, she just kept it short, I love I love cunts who keep it short I swear, I'm not just using him for dick. I really do love him. That's cute. Uh, I did decide to tell Jasmine about the threesome, but I wanted to her. I wanted her to hear the funny version, so I got her to listen to the podcast. Um, she took it well, and we're still friends. You now also have a new fan. Oh, well, that's nice. That's good. I mean, I guess is that is that the best way to 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 come clean about threesomes and weird sex stuff? Is me yelling about it? And, and I guess so. Welcome, Jasmine. I uh, hope you enjoy the fucking podcast threesome lifestyle. Uh, you also have a new fan. I've decided to move on from her. This is That was the girl she wanted to get back with. <clears throat> I decided to move on from her and, uh, and wait to see if someone else will come along to be a part of my relationship. Uh, but for now, I'm happy with the relationship I have. However, my boyfriend and I... Well, that's nice. That was basically my advice was, hey, maybe you should cool it a little bit and just wait. Because I said she was asking for a lot. Trying to get someone to come into her relationship is a fucking huge ask. I mean, beyond the scheduling conflicts of that fucking bullshit to deal with, the emotional toll that it would take would be very hard. It's a very rare person who could handle loving two people at once without jealousy getting in the way. Uh, I'm happy with the relationship I have. However, my boyfriend and I have organized to have a foursome. What the fuck? Dude, why is this happening to everyone but me? I I I don't want a fucking foursome, actually. Wait, what kind of foursome? Many girls or two dicks? A couple, two dicks. I'm out. I don't want to be part of that. I'm out. No, thank you. I'll stay with my podcast by myself. Uh... My boyfriend and I have organized to have a foursome with a couple that we're good friends with. Where are you finding these people? A guy and a girl! Uh, Hopefully, I'll be able to update you on how that goes. This is just going to turn into, like, erotic fucking emails where she's going to send me, like, a detailed breakdown of of them fucking and then she's going to, like, end it with, you should join in next time. I know! That's what it's going to be! It's good. This this email chain is going to turn into fucking erotic fiction. And then I won't be able to read it on the podcast. Although I will have a, a brilliant fivesome story for the next episode. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'll be able to update you on how that goes. They're both hot as fuck and I'm really looking forward to it. I also talked a little bit with Sarah, but she said she didn't think we could ever date again because she feels that she brings out the worst in me and she's super depressed. 
Oh, that's 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 turned out for 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 like a, a weird polyamorous multi-person sexual romantic relationship that has turned out surprisingly reasonable and mellow. That's fucking crazy. I think you've hit the jackpot, Amber, with reasonable polyamorous people. Uh, thanks, Lewis. Have a shit one. P.S. If you want to live my life... Oh, here comes the offer. Oh, no. That's not what it says. If you want to live my lifestyle, all you need is massive tits. Uh, I had them when I was 18, but they disappeared. Two tits? Well, yeah, massive tits. Well, that, I, yeah, that, that'll that do it. Everyone wants to fuck you when you got massive tits. Well, I'll look out for them at the show. <laughs> uh, thanks for emailing, Amber. Uh, I look forward to hearing your your erotic, seeing your erotic update in my emails. Um, I don't know why I said that, because she's going to fucking do it. <sighs> That's the end of the podcast, guys. Make sure you catch me on tour. Uh, loosebeers.com slash gigs. Where am I going? I'm going to uh, Geelong, Bendigo, Hobart, Canberra, Adelaide, Perth, uh, Sydney, Melbourne, uh, and uh, New Zealand will be announced soon. But all those other dates are on sale now. Perth is almost sold out. Please buy tickets now. There are only 30 left. If 15 people listen to this, buy tickets. Everyone buys two or three. If 10 cunts buy tickets, that's it. Um, it's gone. So please uh, grab tickets before you miss out. Um, all right. Thank you very much for listening. Also, Sydney and Melbourne are pretty close to selling out too, but Perth is the main one. If you're from there, I would grab them today if you can. All right. Loosebeers.com slash gigs to grab uh, your tickets. Thank you very much for uh, supporting me. If you, if I'm not coming to you or if you, or if you live uh, out, out of Australia, loosebeers.com slash watch to grab my comedy special. All right. Thank you very much for listening. I'm going to talk to you next Sunday. Uh, appreciate all the Patreon supporters. Check out the Podcast Clips channel, and I will see you on tour uh, next month. It all kicks off. I'm fucking keen. Brand new show. I'll talk to you next Sunday. Uh, but before I go, I would like to say, two phones! Ah! That's it, alright? Probably not going to do it next episode. See you later. Have a shit one.